Hey guys, today I wanted to do a video on Google's keyboard called Gboard. It's actually been out for about a year now, but I'm going to show you guys the whole process of getting it set up on your phone and some of its features. So the first thing you'll do is search for Gboard on the App Store and then download it to your phone. After it's downloaded, you'll go to the settings and scroll all the way down to the Gboard app. And then you're going to click on keyboards and allow full access. After that, this message pops up. This message will pop up if you're installing any third party keyboard on an iPhone. And this message might scare a few people when first seeing this, but if you go into Google's privacy page, they say that Google doesn't send anything that you text or use voice commands for from person to person but they will send data that you type in the Google search bar. All right, so after this, we'll go into my messages and you'll still see the regular Apple keyboard at this point. So to change that, you will long press the globe on the bottom left and select Gboard. The keyboard comes standard like this. It looks pretty similar to the regular iPhone keyboard. So one really cool feature that the Google keyboard has is that if you tap on the Google icon, you can search on Google, YouTube, or maps and you can share things with your contacts and if you guys want to change your keyboard background you will long press the globe and select settings then you'll go into themes and you can make a custom keyboard with a photo from your iPhone or you can use one of these defaults or select a landscape photo and I'm going to select one from here just to show you guys what it looks like so here's one of the landscape backgrounds it's a little too busy for me so I'm just going to change it back to one of the default keyboards and I like using just the black one. So that's basically it for changing and customizing the keyboard. Now I'll show you how the glide typing works if you've never seen that. It's really pretty easy, you just slide your finger across the letters and it seems like it works pretty well. And if you guys have any questions about this video, leave me a comment below and I'll talk to you guys on the next video.